How's it going everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to go through task two of the Goldman Sachs virtual internship. There's some pretty basic Excel work here and I'm going to demonstrate what I think is one of the most efficient ways to go through this task. Let's get right into it. So as we begin, we start on the glossary page, which has some key terms and definitions. Uh, we have some pretty basic ones here that we'll be focusing on. I think the most complicated ones are networking capital, um, you know, operating expenses uh, that we will be inputting. So let's go to the forecasting assumptions. So we're gonna begin with uh, our revenues. So for the number of units sold, we start with 100,000 in the first year. 100,000. And this grows at 10%, so we're multiplied by 1.1, this previous cell. And this is the tricky part here. So every year after that, it the growth rate goes down by 1%. So it'll be this previous year times the previous growth rate minus 1%. So this grew by 9% and so on. So now we can fill in the rest of the cells. Uh, now, average sale price. Well, first of all, let's check if we got this right. So this first year is a growth of 1.1. And then as we can see, it's 9%, 8%, 7%. So that looks like it's working well. Okay, now uh, let's see what this second part is. So this one's a little bit more simple. So we begin with $4 and then it just grows at 4%, I believe. So times 1.04, good. And that's the same for the following years. Now for ice cream and drinks, we want to follow a similar format, I believe. Let's take a look here. So, okay, a lot of information. Mm -hmm. So I'm just gonna copy this down here and here. And we want to sort of maintain a similar layout. Yeah. Okay. So let's see, we begin with 60,000, $3 a unit. And the growth rates, I believe, are basically the same. The trickiest one was the very first one where the growth rate decreases by 1% uh, each year after. Um, so rather than hard coding that, uh, we can use um, what I did in Excel just then uh, by taking the difference and then taking away a percentage every single year in order to not hard code the numbers. There we go, so that's easy as that. Everything stays the same because the growth uh, percentage is already coded in. Let's see how this one differs, maybe. So we have a different unit. So this one starts off with 50,000 instead. And 250. That one still grows at 4% and the other, the number of unit growth rate is the same as before. Okay, just checking that the form, the cells copied across correctly. All right, nice. So moving on to cost of goods sold. I don't know why there's a cell missing here, but we believe I believe we start there and start at $1.50 cost per pancake. 
sorry for per cupcake. Uh, just a simple growth rate here. And we actually want this to copy down here and here because we're gonna have the same for ice cream and drinks. If you remember the shortcuts from uh, task one, I'm trying to use them here as well. So it's FN, F2 uh, to go into, oops, to go into uh, the cell for, to change cupcake. There we go, FN, F2, highlight this and we want probably ice cream. And this one we want drinks, or per drink. All right. Now we just need to change the first numbers. 1.1 and let's just, yeah. So the growth rates are the same for those costs. And now we're looking at the operating cost section. So we have a couple, a couple bigger costs here. Okay, so we have a couple key costs here. First, we have the staff costs, 150,000. Um, how can we make this faster? This is actually all, let's just keep this same formatting. So 150,000. The growth rate here that we're looking for is 5% a year. Now we can actually um, maybe copy this whole line and it's gonna be the same for the other costs. Just need to make sure we get the percentages correct. So we have some occupancy costs here. Marketing and other. Then we have occupancy of 50 and then 10 and then other costs of five. So here, oh, 60, sorry. 10, five. And then let's get the percentages correct. So all that all expected to grow at five percent and occupancy at three. So we can just go into occupancy and change that. Copying the cells prior um, allowed us to uh, keep the that original five percent increase per year. So we want this to be three. Copy that across. Great. And uh, depreciation amortization. So here we need to be a little bit careful of the signs. So this is just, we'll have it as a negative and it slowly increases. So we're adding, um, what is that 0.25%? Let's just make sure we can see it. There we go, great. So as a percentage of revenue, we have that number going down. Okay, now onto the cash flow numbers. The rest of this should be a little bit more simple. What we can do here is we can actually highlight the entire row, plus press enter, type into what the cell that we want, and then click control enter, and that actually fills in the entire row. So that's a handy little trick um, to quickly fill in uh, uh, a row of cells. 
Again, I'm doing this on my Mac, so maybe it's a little bit different on Windows. So you're gonna highlight the row. Uh, let's press enter. We can type in what we want. And again, control enter, and that's what we get. Oops, okay, last one here. Typing what we want, control enter. It's a pretty neat little, little shortcut. Um, you can imagine having, um, you know, longer rows. You don't want to, you know, make a mistake. So this really helps you prevent that. Nice. And then again here for the um, interest rates. Perfect. There we go. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I hope you learned a couple shortcuts and what I think is the more efficient way to do this task. Please let me know if you had any questions down in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.